Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here with BeefaceHoney.com and thank you so much for joining me. So this is the third installment of my Halloween series and this is Beetlejuice. I'll be the first one to tell you that I am not uh, used to doing special effects type of makeup or um, anything that doesn't make you pretty. So this is all a new process for me. Um, but it's fun, and I'm, I have a lot to learn. This could have looked a hell of a lot better. I'm not, I'm not terribly upset with it, but um, Beetlejuice had the texturing, and I wish that I would have like made a prosthetic for it or something um, to make sure that this was like raised instead of just looking textured. But you live and you learn. So if you guys care to learn this look, I certainly do hope you will stay tuned. To start this look, I'm going to conceal my eyebrows. And to do that, I'm going to use Spirit Gum, which is an adhesive. Um, it's the stuff that they use to stick on prosthetics. Um, I've also seen some girls use it to keep their lace fronts on. And I'm going to use Scar Wax. Both of these you can get at like a Halloween store. Spirit come, comes with a little wand like that. And I'm going to put that all over my eyebrow and then brush through it with a spoolie. In order to get the hairs to lay flat to my face, I'm going to take the other side of this spoolie. Um, as a makeup artist, you're never supposed to use mascara on more than one person. You can't double dip, so I always have disposable spoolies. You can get them at beauty supply stores. And I'm going to roll over this. And that'll do two things. Lay the hair flat to your face and also activate the spirit gum. Now taking an artist spatula and my wax. This is Ben Nye wax. I'm scraping some out. And I'm going to put a little bit of lotion on my fingers so that it doesn't stick too badly to my finger. And I've made that wax into like a little worm looking thing. And I'm just going to stick that on my eyebrow. That is a total mess. So what you want to do is take your spoolie. And if you have some left over, you can keep it to put on the other brow. So again, sticking the wax on there. Now the wax is on. I can take my spatula and just run it across. All right, so now that I've got my eyebrows concealed, I can move on to putting on foundation. Now, he doesn't really look to me like he's covered in white. Like, he still has a fleshy tone to him. So I'm going to mix a light foundation with a grayish color. Um, you guys know I keep my Mac Studio Tex in these little jar thingies. This is just the lightest color that I have. And I'm going to put that all over my face. I'm going to make myself look good and ashy. Okay, and don't worry about the this region of your face because that's going to be all covered up in black anyway. Um, I don't even know why I put foundation on my eyelids really. But I'm going to take a cheap little disposable set of makeup that I bought from a Halloween store. And it's super cheap, creamy makeup. Like, I think I paid $3.99 for it or something. And I'm going to take the gray there. And to set the foundation, I'm going to use some Ben Nye Natural Setting Powder. Okay, and now for the eyes. I'm going to take a paint pot from MAC called Black Round. And just put that all over my eye. Right up into the brow. And I'm putting it under my eye, too. Okay. 
whatever black creamy stuff you can find, put that down. Now I could swear the Beetlejuice's eyes, his eyelids were purple. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Taking my 88 Coastal Scents palette, this is a product that you can buy online at www.coastalscents.com. This purple right here. And just put that on my inner eye. Kind of fading it upwards. And I have to remind myself that we are not going for anything pretty here. We're going for sloppy, ugly dead guy. And I'm going to take a black color. This is Carbon from MAC. And just put that all on the outsides of that purple that we've placed. You can put some under your eye too. I'm going to do a little contouring and shading just to um, make myself look a little bit more masculine. Whatever brown eyeshadow you have, you can go ahead and use that. I'm using Espresso. I'm going to start drawing on my wrinkles as well. So in order to find the wrinkles on your forehead, um, you can wrinkle your forehead. So when I go like that, you can see where my wrinkles are. You can see this indentation right here. I'm going to fill that in with a dark brown. And I'm going to take a brush. It's just kind of flat. And get into those wrinkles. And I'm going to take my carbon also and dip a contour brush into it. And go right into the hollows of my cheeks. And also right up in here, like where those laugh lines would be. I'll put a link, if you need to understand the basics about contouring and highlighting, I'll put a link in the video. Somewhere around these parts where you can see. I'm going to take this brush, contour my nose a little bit. Now, Beetlejuice definitely had a 5 o'clock shadow, so <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this black and kind of like a pointy brush. This is meant for like liquid foundations. Not today. Go to that upper lip. Adding some brown to that. Do I look like the SP Nation now? Gonna take some concealer and just whiten out my lips. And for the green that Beetlejuice has on his face, I don't know if that's supposed to be mold or what, but I'm just using that green makeup just to make a little bit of a hue. So I've mixed this, the white and the green together to come up with kind of minty green color. I'm just going to make some inflections. And I'm going to take that black paint and lightly just trace around it. And I'm going to take that brush again and just dip right into the pure green and go right back over top of it. I really have no idea what I'm doing, guys. So I just keep adjusting this and the outer corner of his mouth is really, like, jacked up. So I'm going to make that, like, extra kind of dark right there. Adding some white paint just to show a little more texture in here. And I want to go back again with my green over top of it all. 
I do want to pinken up my lip just a little bit. So I'm going to take Please Me from MAC. Just a tiny bit on my finger. And I want to darken my contours a little bit. I'm gonna line my eye in black. I do want to put some of that purple under my eye. For the finishing touch, guys, I am going to use a product that um, yellows your teeth. So, it's by Moran. First thing you're going to want to do, though, is just take a take a cloth or um, paper towel and dry your teeth. If I had some brown icing, I'd throw some of that on there, too but I don't. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all a new process to me. I mostly do makeup for like fashion shoots and um, photo shoots and bridal. So I'm more so into making people look pretty, not making them look ugly, dead, and mannish. So I'm so glad that I can um, learn with you guys. So if you did want to duplicate this look, you can go to BeatFaceHoney.com in the blog section where there will be a list of the products that I used. And um, that is pretty much it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Hmm. Hmm. And I will see you guys right back here very soon. Thanks. Bye.